What's going on guys? Welcome back to another pickup video. Uh, I'm Joe for Gamer Toys, as usual. This is pretty much going to be an exclusive video for everything that I've picked up during Force Friday 2 last week. Depending on when this video goes up, it could have been last week, it could have been later, could have been earlier. I'm not sure, but this is everything that I picked up for Force Friday either at 1201 when me and Jay went to Toys R Us and Meyer, and then I also stopped by Target in the morning right when they opened and I got the rest of the stuff that I needed. So first things first, I got this pretty sweet poster from uh, Toys R Us. This is the normal AT-AT or at, -AT right here. This is his big ass brother right here coming to back him up. Uh, these guys are huge. I love all the TIE Fighters. And this is definitely from that, what I'm assuming is going to be the opening battle scene on Crate, I believe it's called. Where uh, you saw in the trailer all of that red dust being kicked up from the ground. This is an awesome poster. Let's just start with the one Black Series. I only got one Black Series figure. They were the first thing that everyone rushed to. We didn't get to Toys R Us super early and I wasn't gonna wait in line me and Jay just kind of hung out in the car until the line started to move when they opened the door the following day at Target I snagged Luke Skywalker Jedi Master from The Last Jedi it's a pretty awesome face sculpt I love the paint detail on the hair the robes are solid there's a little bit of sloppy painting on the belt on mine there's a little smudge of brown paint on the robe other than that, sweet. I love the box as always, it's number 46. And it says, after a tragedy destroyed his attempt to rebuild the Jedi Knights, Luke Skywalker vanished from the galaxy. Now the Resistance needs his help to thwart the efforts of the evil First Order. I think I'm going to do something right now. Opening time. Here we have Luke Skywalker. The robes look great. Man, it's just, it's a great looking figure. I love the way the hand looks, um, you know, he's got great movement, as with all Black Series figures, and he comes with his robe, just kind of chills there, it looks great. On to the three and three quarter inch. I'm gonna start with this two pack, which is pretty awesome. This is a Rey in her Jedi training, and the Elite Praetorian Guard. This is an awesome looking pack. Uh, Rey comes with her staff, a lightsaber, and a blaster. The Praetorian Guard comes with his bladed staff, which looks pretty sweet. And then there's also some kind of giant gun included, which is useless. But uh, this is a great looking set. Let's start right here with his, uh, with his counterpart. We got Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master. Now I am going to point out, the card backs are different from The Force Awakens and from Rogue One. They're a little, I mean, they're a lot smaller, first of all. Uh, the bubble takes up about, I don't know, 75% of the card. I love the art. Um, I love the design of the card, but they're really thin. They're really flimsy. It seems like for collectors like myself and other people who like to keep their figures mint on card, these cards are very acceptable to damage, but uh, these seem like they could get bent and creased very easily. They remind me of like Dollar General cards, for those of you who have Dollar Generals or even Big Lots. It's basically just a shrunken down version of this figure, Rey, in her Jedi training. I'm pretty sure this is the same exact figure that's in here. Let me take a double look. Uh, her eyebrows look a little different. This Rey looks a little more angry, where this Rey is a little more, you know, relaxed. Uh, other than that, the body is pretty much, I'm going to say, exactly the same. And the accessories are exactly the same. She comes with her lightsaber, her staff, and her blaster. So Ray, awesome looking figure. Next up, where would we be without Poe Dameron in his resistance pilot suit? At least this time they give us a Poe figure with the removable helmet and the basic assortment. It doesn't really look like Oscar Isaac at all. So he comes with his helmet, his blaster. Hopefully in wave two or somewhere down the line, we get a single carded version of Poe not in his X-Wing suit, hopefully. We have Finn, Resistance Fighter. Now basically, this is Finn wearing Poe's clothes, which is very similar to Lando wearing Han's clothes in Return of the Jedi. But I digress. Let's jump over here to the dark side a little bit. This is probably my favorite one of this line so far. We have another Kylo Ren, 
This one is unmasked. He has a scar going down his face, which looks great. I love the art. This shot of uh, Adam Driver right here on the card back is great. Comes with his lightsaber. And how sweet is it that Kylo Ren is now wearing a effing cape. Helmets and capes and red lightsabers are the coolest. Next up we have Chewbacca with everyone's favorite new friend, the Porg. Everyone is so worried about these Porgs. Do you people really think that the movie is going to suck because there's Porgs in it? Puffin Penguin Birds? I think everyone's reading a little too much into it. I think the genius of Lucasfilm, if you ask me, they are pushing these Porgs to distract everyone from other things. So no one's, you know, doing any digging. No one's looking at anything else. Everyone's so caught up in the Porgs that this movie's going to be so effing awesome, the Porgs aren't even going to matter. Next up, we have General Hutz who probably has the coolest accessory, and that is a mouse droid. So you have General Hux with his orange hair, and his mind's kinda got like a crazy ear. That's okay. Uh, he comes with a mouse droid and a blaster. You know, he's wearing his normal get up, clenching his fists in the art. You know, he's pissed. He's always mad. Let's jump right here to the First Order Stormtrooper. I'm not sure if it's a repack from The Force Awakens. It could be. He comes with his pistol and his blaster. And then what's a Star Wars line without a C-3PO figure? No accessories. The paint looks good. The paint on the wires on the midsection look great. I like the pose. Oh, well, how did I get here? And then bam, we got the sisters. Uh, we're looking at Resistance Tech Rose and Resistance Gunner Page. Now these figures are great. These are two of the new characters. Uh, Rose looks great. I love the the printing of Arabish on her uh, outfit there. She comes with a blaster, and I'm not really sure what that is. Some kind of tool, maybe. Um, the face sculpt looks great. The paint is great. And then we have Paige here, who, I mean, looks great as well. Are they the same color suits? No. A little bit darker. She comes with a blaster and a helmet that is removable. Uh, the face sculpt is great. I love the details in the suit. You were pretty much able to walk into Target. I want to say they had at least two and a half sets of all 11 figures in this first wave. I was able to get the whole set, minus what I already had, but you could have walked in there and got all 11 of these figures and the two pack. And they also had the other two pack with Han Solo and Boba Fett. I opted not to get that. I'm just looking to get the new characters and the new figures from The Last Jedi, not another Han Solo and Boba Fett. But these figures are cool. Let's not forget about Luke here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. I'm out.